We're in Windows Server 2019, and let's take a look at how we can apply a group policy to an organizational unit. So if we go to Tools in an Active Directory Domain Controller and open up Group Policy Management, we see all of our group policy objects as well as our organizational unit. So by default, we have this default domain policy, and we also have the default domain controllers policy, which affects the domain controllers. So the default domain policy will affect anything that's inside the domain, and the domain controllers policy will just affect the domain controllers. Now we have these organizational units. We have test, we have accountants, and then we have a couple other ones that were built in. And what we can do is anyone or any computer that is in one of these organizational units, we can affect separately from the default domain policy. So let's talk about what that means. If I right click on accountants and choose to create a group policy object in this domain and link it here, then I've got to give it a name. Let's call it redirect documents. Click OK. And there it is. So now I'm going to edit it. So I'll click the edit option. And now I can make these changes. So I can either affect the computer or the user. In this case, it makes sense to affect the user. So whatever user logs in, we're going to redirect uh, their documents to, say, the server instead of being local on their computer. So that way it gets backed up every night. So to get to this place, we're going to go to Windows Settings under Policies, and then we'll click on Folder Redirection. Now we have to go to the right side and choose the documents on the right side of the page. Right click and choose Properties. And under Settings, we'll say Basic, redirect everyone's folder to the same location. Or you can specify locations for various user groups. So that's a little bit more complex. We'll just choose the simple one. So if we click Browse, and we're going to go to the C drive, and we're going to go to a folder I created called Shared. Now the problem with this root path is it's showing the C colon backslash shared. So if a user is logged into their own computer, it's not going to find this path. So you've got to put in a UNC path. So we'll put in the name of the server, backslash the name of the shared folder. And they have to have access to that shared folder as well. So we see under the example, it's going to go to DC1, shared, and then the name of the user followed by documents. So we'll apply that. We'll acknowledge the warning and click OK. Now I'm going to go to a Windows 10 computer and make sure that that works. So my Windows 10 computer is joined to the domain. It has to be in order for a group policy to work. And I'm going to go to where it says documents. And I'll right click on it and I'm going to go to properties. So right now it's pointing to the user's administrator folder and logged in as administrator locally to a Windows 10 computer on the C drive. So I've got to go back into my domain controller and make sure that my user is going to be in this organizational unit. So we're back in group policy. I'll go ahead and close that. And now I'm going to open up Active Directory Users and Computers. Now I've got the accountants OU here, and you see there's no one in there. And so since I created a group policy that was pointed to a user, I have to make sure my user is in the accountants folder. So I'll go down to users, and we'll see who we have here. So we have a user named Sally, and all i got to do is move her up using my left mouse click and acknowledging the warning into the accountants OU, and there Sally is. Now I'll go back to Windows 10 and log in as Sally. So we're logging in as Sally for the first time, so it's going to need to create a profile, and then we'll go ahead and check it out. We are logged in. We'll click on Folder, and we see Documents. So we noticed that we logged in as the administrator. It was pointing to the C drive, but using Group Policy, we should be going to this new shared folder. So we'll go to Properties and take a look. We're pointed to DC1 Shared and Sally. So our group policy object worked. You can also go to a command prompt and see what group policies have applied. We have to run as administrator in order to see all the different options. And now we're going to type in gp result slash r. 
we scroll up, we can see computer settings. So we can see the applied group policy ob objects were the default domain policy and a local group policy, which is the default. We can now see the user policies if we scroll down a little bit. And there's our redirect documents group policy that we just created earlier. So we can see that it was applied. So if it didn't get applied, it would actually show up in a different section that says uh, group policy objects that were not applied. But since none of that happened, we can see that it showed up in the ones that did apply. So that is how you set up a group policy object to affect a specific organizational unit in Windows Server 2019 Active Directory.